my artisanal cereal, handcrafted from the Bavarian forest with ancient techniques and probably wooden tools. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here today checking out Supermarket Simulator, which I have been told is the only simulator game that doesn't begin with you cleaning things, and therefore it's obviously game of the year. Let me take a quick sec to thank a very, very good friend of the channel for gifting me Supermarket Simulator so we can check it out on the channel. As is common, I have done absolutely nothing with this except fire it up and hit record. So let's go start a supermarket? Okay, show me what I've got to clean up around here. It's a simulator game. Obviously, I have to start with cleaning the place. Where is your trash? Where are your boxes? Where are your bits of cardboard? Is it out here? Do I have to clean it? Do I not have to clean any of this up? Are you sure? Because basically that's hard-coded into every simulator game I've ever played in the history of everything. Are you literally telling me there's nothing to clean here? Okay, game of the year. Order goods using my computer. Okay, well, I assume that's going to be in a market. What have I, what have I got here? Cereal, sliced bread, flour, oil, ooh, it's going to get a little late night around here, pasta, and powdered sugar. Okay, how much of this do you want? Let's start with something basic. How about cereal? How about we got 10 boxes of cereal and bread? Okay, we're, we're doing a breakfast-themed thing here. We're going to do just breakfast goods. Uh, pasta is not particularly a breakfast deal, but you could, I suppose you could eat it for breakfast or something. Nothing actually stopping you from eating it for breakfast. You could, you could have pasta and and some eggs. And oh god, I'm grossing myself out. How much am I spending on this nonsense? Three hundred and fifty-eight dollars. How much money do I have? Oh, I've only got like fifty bucks. Right. Um. Okay. How about a box of cereal? That that's that's the thing. And maybe less bread. No, no, we can't do that either. I the 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 cereal is thirty-five dollars. This is for a case, right? This is this is not one box of cereal. For I don't care how good the cereal is. It's not worth $35.88. This is it. This is all I've got right now is one, one thing of chalky pick. Okay, we're going all... I got 12 bucks. What kind of business plan did I put together here when I started this supermarket? Did I go to the bank and say, you know what? Give me 50 bucks. 50 bucks, kid, and I can start a supermarket. And the bank's like, no, you can't. That's ridiculous. You need, like, thousands and thousands, probably tens of thousands, maybe maybe hundreds of thousands of dollars to start a supermarket. And I'm like, nah. Now, what do you got in your, what do you got in your pocket right now? You got 50 bucks? I'm going to go start a supermarket. Hi, hello, I have cereal. We're doing, do you like cereal, sir? 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 Do you like cereal? Specifically chocolate-themed cereal? There might be a vampire or something associated with it. It's probably pretty tasty, and it turns the milk, I don't know, sort of grayish. It, sir? Well, I've got my, um, a box of cereal here. I guess, I guess we're probably gonna put it, put it on the shelf, right? How do we, how do we go about doing this? Oh, just like that. Oh, good, it's a case of cereal. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. Throw the empty box into the trash can. I knew there'd be cleaning up somewhere around here. All right, where... Which, this trash can. Okay, throw that in there. Set the price of the product, $152,000.88. Uh, so, set the price. Okay. So, average price is $299. Wait, I think that's my price. I think I paid $299. Okay, so, you know what? Let's just try the market price of $598, which is a weird price. Can we go $599? That's a much more sensible price. Okay, I want to set that, and I'm going to make three bucks on this thing. Now, does anyone at all want to buy some cereal? We're open for largely cereal. Oh, hi, hi, hello, hello. Uh, yes, cereal right over there, sir. Thank you. Yep, cereal right over there, and I will I will check you out right now. Uh, so grab that and scan it, and and take yep, take your money. Okay, have a really good morning. Wait, do do you leave now? Hang on, do you? Do you oh, correct the, collect the right amount of change? Oh, are you kidding me? I gotta do change? I haven't done this in years. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, and a, and a, am I gonna have to go to the bank and get change or something? And um, have a nice cereal day, sir. And you, um, okay, and take your money. Oh, you, oh, thank God you're doing a card. Okay, so um, wait, what now? Okay, enter the. How much did I charge for this? Oh, five ninety nine. Uh, five ninety nine. 
Uh, I'll put the tip screen up. No, no, it's not the incorrect. It is the incorrect amount. Sorry. Um, 5.99. Okay. Um, I'll put the tip screen up. If you wanted to tip me, no? Okay, I think you left your bag here. All right, uh, cereal. Okay, and you're also doing a card. All right, um, so it's it's five ninety nine, not five hundred ninety nine dollars. Although I kind of wish it was. Um, the tip screen will be coming up in a moment, ma'am. While I happen to have your card in my hand, uh, we encourage twenty percent tipping on this. I'm gonna run out of cereal here soon. How much did you give me here? You gave me ten bucks. Okay, one, two, three, four, and a penny. Okay, um, give you. Give you the money. Okay, have a nice cereal day. And you, uh, you, oh, God, it have to be, I don't take cash anymore. All right, we're going all plastic on this. Uh, you, you only need a, do you really want the penny? Do you really, do you, do you really need the penny? I should put one of those leave a penny, take a penny jars up. Except nobody ever actually takes a penny. They just leave one. Okay, thank you. Have a nice cereal day. Uh, what have you got? You've got some cash here. And really? Does the penny matter that much to you? You don't even have pockets. Where are you going to put a penny? Here's your penny, cheapskate. Okay, have a nice cereal day. I have more cereal to, to ring up here. What what are you giving me? You, you're giving me... Okay, okay, you're fine, man. Yeah, you're fine. You gave me the exact change. Really? You had 99 cents in your pocket? That must be weighing you down. I hope you got a good belt. Um, have a nice cereal day. Uh, thank you for your card. I'll put the tip screen up momentarily. Okay, we got a bit of a lull going on here. I feel I should, I should kind of order some more stuff. There's, there's nobody in the store right now. Um, let's get some more, well, cereal. Cereal seems to be killing it right now. Um, can I add that to the cart? Thank you very much. And I will purchase that. Thank you very much. I'm back down to 28 bucks around here. Get out of all of this and then quickly go get my cereal, which is thankfully delivered immediately. And oh, hi, I'll be with you in a second, sir. I'm, I'm restocking the cereal. It's, it's very exciting. Uh, so yeah, all, all the cereal is going to go back up here. I will be right with you, sir. Um, oh, put it, put some over here then. I'll be, oh, hang on, I gotta throw this out, sir. I'll be right with you with your cereal. Hopefully you don't have 99 cents in your pockets because I think those shorts are gonna fall right down. Okay, here we go. Uh, check out the cereal. Oh, good, thank God he's paying with plastic. Okay, have a nice cereal day, sir, and you're also paying with plastic. Again, please pay attention to the tip screen. Notice that I blocked out everything except the 20% one. You're in a tux? Seriously? What, are you coming from a wedding or something and you desperately needed cereal? Is that your wedding gift? That's actually a really good wedding gift. Because I'm going to tell you right now, when me and Mrs. Dave got married, like the next morning, we're like, oh my god, we are exhausted. We can't even do breakfast right now. Boy, if somebody had actually given us a box of cereal, we'd be like, oh my god, that guy gave us a box of cereal. We could just have cereal. I'm sorry, you're probably waiting to be checked out, sir. Uh, you have exact change. Bugger off. Oh, he's back. He's probably getting one for the bride and one for the groom. That's so sensible. That really is that. I tell you, I wish we'd invited you to our wedding. Did you give me exact change again? No, you, you need change here. All right, there's your there's your four dollars. And yeah, don't forget the penny. I'll be right there. I'm just restocking here. I've got a lot of cereal that I put it on the wrong place. Oh, also, um, did I set the price of the new cereal? Did people just get that for like two ninety nine? No, it's it's all five ninety nine. Okay, good. I'll be right with you. And you're gonna have oh you oh wow two boxes huh? Two, you ain't playing. Okay, two boxes of cereal here. Oh, thank God you're paying with a card. That's uh, eleven ninety eight. Okay, cool. Yeah, we don't do math much here. We kind of rely on machines to do that for us. Th there's no reason to stock up here, people. It's not the apocalypse. I, I promise you I can order more cereal at any time of day or night, I'm pretty sure. But thank you. Have a great cereal day. Lady, seriously, like what? what is... It's like... I don't know, it's like 7 o'clock in the evening or something, and you're getting two boxes. Have you had a rough day? Has it been kind of one of those days, and you're like, all I'm going to do is go home and drink a lot of wine and eat all of this cereal? I guess, sir, I, I I will be with you in a moment. I apparently have to turn the lights on in here. No, they're not automatic. I don't know why they're not automatic, sir. It seems like something I would have invested in when I was starting this business. But then again, I decided to start a supermarket business with only 50 bucks in my pocket. Uh, where, uh, Sir, can you see the light switch around here? Is that is that something you, you got an eye on that, chief? Oh, here, I found it. I found it. It's over here. There we go. Why is there a smiley face there? That's weird. Okay, I'm running out of cereal again here, sir. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do an order at some point. What, what are you giving me here? Yeah, you have exact change. Uh, this is theft. No, 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 it's not. It's, it's actually the opposite of that. And your twin brother just walked in too. 
It's actually the opposite, sir. It's commerce. So I had a product and I offered it for a price and you provided that price to me. And then I let you leave with the product. It's actually the exact opposite of theft, sir. When do I close? Do I close at some point? Because it's very, very frantic around here. I need, I need another box of cereal. So, oh, we're closed after 9 p.m. Oh, it is after 9 p.m. Darn it, I needed to order that like one minute earlier. Okay, hopefully we can just get through. The, are we done? Should we close? It's like 9 o'clock. Yeah, the, the, the clock isn't going anymore. I, I, think, um, I think we got to close here. Press enter to finish the day. I shortchanged somebody? When? When did I do that? I... See, this is why I don't do math. Oh, good. We've got bills. Pay your bills using the computer. Hopefully the bills are not going to account to more than, like, 25, 30 bucks, because I got more cereal to order for a start. Are we closed? Yeah, we're closed. Okay. Uh, which one is bills? Was that management? Wow. Oh, what's all this? Oh, hang on, hang on. What is What is all this nonsense here? There's a lot going on. Product license? Purchase this license to be able to sell the products below uh, a bunch of juice and drinks. Okay, so I get different product licenses, and that enables me. There's like candy and chocolate and stuff, butter. I've already got cereal. It's just a different kind of cereal. Okay, that's a lot of information. Let's look at bills. All bills are paid. Oh, good. How about growth? What's in here? Purchase this section to expand your supermarket. Okay, expand, expand, expand. Okay, get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Show me customization. What's going on here? It's coming soon. Oh, good. Yes, hiring. This is what I'd like to do, hiring. I'm really focused on the serial maintenance side of this. I would prefer not to be doing math. Apparently, I, I shortchanged somebody. But I desperately need another box of cereal here. So let's purchase that box of cereal. It's a wonderful cereal morning. Let's get this party started. I went ahead and ordered an extra box of cereal because I just feel it's going to be one of those days and I'm not going to have time to get away from the register. We are open for cereal business. Cereal now available in, in my store. Pretty much just cereal. In fact, only cereal. There's only like a 1 in 25 chance that I'm going to shortchange any of you, too. Hello, welcome to Cereal. Uh, we have lots of cereal, and you are going to purchase some cereal. Excellent. Um, oh, yeah, do the thing there. There we go. Okay, take your card. Ring you up. $5.99. Make sure that's entered correctly. Apparently, I shortchanged someone. Ah, getting some cereal on your way to work, sir. Very, very wise. The employee break room cannot be trusted. What did you give me here? 44 You gave me a 50 Dude, it's 10 o'clock in the morning. I can't break a large bill right now. Yes, sir. I am giving you your penny. There you go. All right, there's your penny. Have a great day. I got to get one of those dishes. I don't know. I'll, I'll find like a, an ashtray or something outside. I'll just put it over there. Well, I've managed to do the 25 sales here. I just finished ringing that guy up who's clearly from the FBI. And you're probably that other guy's boss. Again, break room cannot be trusted. I see what you're doing there. So $11.98 for you. I'm, I'm a little busy to check out the product license thing. Everyone is buying multiple things of cereal. What did you give me? 12 bucks? Okay, so you need... <sighs> There's your two pennies, sir. Wow, that guy already ate two boxes of cereal and he's back for more. That is just ridiculous. You give me a hundred? Dude, do I look like I can break a hundred? Are you into I don't I barely have a hundred. I got 106, Chief. I got 106, and you're asking me to break a hundred. Okay, um, you know what? You're getting all twenties. That that's all there is to that. And that, and one, two, three of those, and Good lord, don't forget your two pennies, sir. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful cereal day. I gotta get away from the register. I need to do this getting a license thing, and I, I just can't get away from this register. People are coming in like there's no tomorrow. No, like literally there's no tomorrow, like it's the apocalypse. And the only thing you've got to survive the apocalypse is chocolate cereal, which is probably true. This this thing probably has like a, not so much a shelf life as it has a, a half life. So I get what they're going for there. The guy, that guy's back. He's he's had like five boxes of cereal today. Where are we at? It's, I don't know, it's like six o'clock. I don't even know when we close. And I'm almost out of cereal anyway. You know what? We're just, we're shutting the place down, okay? No more cereal for anyone today. All right, what, what can we do here? What can we do? Management. Get a license. All right. What does this cost? 200 bucks? I don't have 200 bucks. Do I, and I, do I look like I have 200 bucks? I, in fact, have $172.09. Oh, we're going to need to sell a lot of cereal for this. Well, good news I didn't shortchange anyone yesterday. I must have put in, like, 
five ninety eight or five ninety nine on the credit card thing. That's the only thing I can imagine that I would do. But we only made eighteen bucks in profit. It's it's gonna be a while for before we get to two hundred bucks to get the next product license. I did buy some more cereal overnight. I should probably just go ahead and do that again. You know what? Let's just see what we can do with the day here. I mean, I suppose I could deliberately shortchange people. That guy who came in with a hundred dollar bill, maybe he only got a couple pennies change. I, I would that would boost my profits very quickly. I'm sure the feds would be down here in no time, but that would uh that would boost the old price. Hello, have a wonderful cereal day. Well, just after noon, and I, I've got my 200 bucks. We've done a few sales. I don't have anything else, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. So management. Yeah, we're going to get bottled water, cheese, coffee, eggs, milk, and black tea. Sure, why not? I don't actually have any of the other things for sale, but why not have other new things? Purchase a fridge or a shelf. Yeah, that that's going to be a while. I got a dime. Okay, I got 10... 10 cents is what I've got here. 10? I got a dime. Okay, thank you. Have a wonderful cereal day. I'm about to run out of cereal. I think I've got two boxes of cereal left, and this guy just bought one of them. So uh, take your card and ring you in. All right, off you go, chief. Have a wonderful cereal day, sir. I have a single box of cereal. And it's all yours, lady. It's, it's the last one on the shelf here. They're selling like hotcakes. No, I'm not really sure what a hotcake is either. Pretty sure it's like a pancake kind of thing. I don't know. Yeah, no kidding, dude. I got no cereal. Did you just see that lady? She just bought the last one. All right, I'm, I'm go. Just go away. I've got to close my store. I literally have nothing for sale here. I have not, I have just basically enough money to, well, order one more box of cereal. Just for having the conversation, how much is a fridge? Uh, let's see. The shelf is 200 bucks. Oh, the fridge is 200 bucks. This fridge is 375 bucks. Got spotlights. That's, um, that's fun. So my new goal is to see if I can make enough money by the... I'm not going to make enough money by the end of the day. We'll give it a shot. I might make enough money by the end of the day to order another box of cereal, which will be very exciting. I know, I put it up on the top shelf. I don't know why, lady. I just like to annoy you people sometimes. Okay, good news by the end of the day, I have enough to order yet another box of cereal. So tomorrow's prospects are looking much, much better now. So go into the market and get, yes, one more box of cereal. I have sold these people nothing but cereal. Uh, customers waiting. I will get there when I darn well get there. I got to turn the lights on here, chief. There you go. Isn't that better? Aren't you happier now? I'll be there in a sec. I'm throwing the trash out. I bought more cereal. It's very exciting around here. You just bought all of it too. Good. Hoping maybe I can get yet more money to get yet more cereal around here. It's going to be a very exciting morning. Yeah, we're kind of down 85 bucks on the day there. All right. Coffee and pasta prices have changed. That That affects me not at all. Not even a tiny little bit. You know why? Because we only sell cereal. Specifically one kind of cereal. Only one particular brand of cereal. We are we're an extremely hyper-focused niche market here. Really what I am is an artisan market. I know, nobody really knows what artisan means. I get it. They just throw that on and think it sounds fancy and then they put their things on Etsy. Okay, my artisanal cereal store is open for business. Please glance at my artisanal cereal, handcrafted from the Bavarian forest with ancient techniques and probably wooden tools. Are you serious? First customer of the morning and you need me to break a C-note? Are you insane, sir? I have $12. I don't, I literally don't have the change for this. You understand that, right? I, in a very real sense, do not have the change for this. All right, here's your $94 and yes, I'll give you the penny. Yes, I know it's your penny. It's not my penny. I get it. Sir, you've had way too much cereal. I just want you to be clear about that. It's actually affecting your complexion. Uh, what do you want? Two cents? Yeah, here's my two cents about your complexion. Yeah, no, Bavarian forest, man. Bav handcrafted. Wooden tools. Swear to God. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I was very, very busy. There you go. Okay, there's your cereal. Here's your here's your card thing. Uh, please note the tip screen. I might have accidentally charged you too much money for that. No, no, everything's fine, sir. I've corrected it in the register. Yes, sir. Here's your penny. Have a wonderful cereal day. Penny. Just leave it there, dude. 
If you wouldn't even pick it up off the ground if it was outside. But no, you're in here, you're like, hey man, that's my penny, not your penny. What, you just come from a Jay-Z show or something? What are you dressed like? Okay, you probably came from the same wedding as that other guy. Boy, that wedding's been going on a long time. Thank you for exact change. And now they're starting to get a little fussy that there isn't anything else in this store besides Choco cereal here. The last guy wanted bread, some guy wanted, I don't know, milk for his cereal, which I think is completely insane, but hey, what do I know? So yeah, you, you needed oil, I, you're having a fun night, I don't judge. Uh, you, the guy from, uh, the guy from the office there, two boxes of cereal, are you gonna get fussy about anything else? Is there anything else you require, sir, because we don't have anything else at all? Yeah, you wanted sliced bread. Okay, now they're starting to get a little fussy. That's it, dude. Last box of cereal right there, man. You are the last customer of the night because I've got nothing else in this shop. Unless you want to buy the shelf. Do you want to buy the shelf? I could sell you the shelf. All right, shut this place down for the night and order. Ah, darn it. I just missed the, the order delivery there, the order timeout there. Um, we actually didn't do that bad. $139 in profit is not the worst thing in the world. Of course, I have nothing left to sell anyone at this point, but let's get, I know we're going to go crazy. We're going to get two boxes of cereal and we're going to add that in. Okay. Two boxes of cereal. All right. That's how crazy I am making the cereal market in this town. And that is probably an excellent place to call it on Supermarket Simulator for today. I think we'll pop back into this. I'd like to see what else is beyond well, cereal, frankly. I'd like to see what else lives beyond cereal. Maybe something remarkable like water or bread or, I don't know, coffee. That would be great. I need coffee right now. I'm going to go make some coffee. Guys, do please let me know what you thought of Sum Supermarket Simulator in the comments below. And hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. It does cheer me up no end when people do that. And if you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Bavarian Forest! handcrafted wooden tools and if you're new to the channel maybe just checking it out for the first time do feel free to hit that subscribe button see more of this ridiculous nonsense until then i'm dave thank you as always for joining me in the wee hours and we'll see you next time but maybe we close the door during a zombie apocalypse cinnamon huh it's just basic security technique if the door is closed cinnamon cinnamon the zombies are going to have to work harder to get in no what you've done is put up a big sign on the top of your roof here that says, Hey zombies, this way for food. All right, is there an actual fire or are you just telling me that fire is a thing that exists? Because I'm very familiar with that. Fire loves me and it wants to be near me at all times. And I'm pretty sure they're trying to beat him to death with a baguette, which is less effective than you might commonly think it would be. I have created epic fruitcake. Those words have never been uttered in the entirety of human history. That sentence has never come together. I have made epic fruitcake.